Donkey Derby Days is now facing a financial shortfall. The annual event that honors Cripple Creek's mining history needs $30,000 to keep that tradition alive. Here at EO News Channel 13's Jessica Grundling explains why Cripple Creek is struggling to fund this longtime event. Before the pandemic, the city of Cripple Creek was able to help with funding not only for Donkey Derby Days, but other events in town. But now the city says it's struggling to find that extra funding. This pasture is home to 15 donkeys in Cripple Creek. They're all rescue donkeys and they represent the his history of mining in Cripple Creek. After the discovery of gold in 1890, donkeys worked the underground mines. They were the uh, animals that moved the, the ore and, and uh, carried gear underground. They did everything underground. These guys have no ties to the donkeys from that time, but they're living a much better life. Between May and October, they get to roam the city, and in the winter, they're taken care of by the Two Mile High Club. To take care of these donkeys is a full-time job. Cripple Creek created Donkey Derby Days in 1931 as a way to help pay for food and other necessities. It's a three-day celebration, and it goes way beyond Cripple Creek. It's Victor and Florissant and Divide and Woodland Park, and we actually have people from out of state that plan their vacation to come and see the donkeys. But this year, the Two Mile High Club says it's missing its usual $30,000 from the city. They had to make the very hard but fiduciarily responsible decision to pull that funding because since the pandemic, gambling revenues are down. According to the city of Cripple Creek, they pulled funding for all events in 2020. This year, their overall revenue is down 22%. The casinos are a big part of that, as they are required to pay a portion of all revenue back to the city. The Two Mile High Club says it understands fewer gamblers are coming to town, but is still pushing for this year's Donkey Derby Days. We want everyone to succeed, and frankly, our community needs a time to celebrate. It's been a tough go since the pandemic. If you would like to donate to Donkey Derby Days, we have more information at krdo.com. Reporting in the studio, Jessica Grundling, KRDO News Channel 13.